Robbie, welcome to Warsaw Football Club. First of all, how did the move come about to you, for you? Um, it's been a while. Um, we had a bit of dialogue before, uh, but obviously as these moves, they take a little bit of time. Um, and then we spoke with uh, Newport, um, and they just said, you know, it's, it's, it's my decision what I want to do. Uh, with the limited game time that I've had there, it was um, probably best that I found um, a new home, say, uh, to re end the season. And um, lucky for me, Warsaw have um, given me the opportunity. What was it that attracted you to Warsaw Football Club? Um, obviously, playing under the gaffer and hats, and I've played with both of them as well. Uh, I know how they operate, uh, I know how they like to play, and they know how I operate, so it's, um, it's a good match. That's it. You mentioned Michael Flynn there and Wayne Hatswell. Are you looking forward to you know, reuniting with the, the pair of them, working with them both again, You because know, they're two people you know very well? Yeah, no, they're, they're two friends. Um, we've had a, a great relationship. Um, I've known Hats for about 14 years, so it's, it's been a while. Um, and under the gaffer, we've had a, some very successful times, so hopefully we can um, carry on the great form that Warsaw are in and, and bring those times to Warsaw. So you've had, I think it's two couple of spells at Newport, haven't you? You know, your most recent one, you've been there since 2017, so you know, plenty of experience of Sky Bet League too. Uh, what, what do you think it takes to be successful? Because obviously, you know, Warsaw are up there trying to get into that top seven as well. Yeah, I think I think uh, I first signed for Newport in 2013, and I played with the Gaffer in 2013. I think it was in the successful times that we've had and successful teams that we've seen go on. I think it's just consistency. And I think at the moment, Warsaw are in real good, consistent form. And if you can carry that on, then you've given yourself a real opportunity at the end of the season. And for Sadler's fans who may not know an awful lot about you, what will you bring to the table? Um, I feel my crossing is a massive um, part of my game. Um, I like to put chances on, on for um, strikers, um, but the gaffer knows that I can fill in wherever needed. I think uh, at Newport, I think I played any, anywhere barring goal under him. So, yeah, anywhere, anywhere I like to, uh, the gaffer will put me on. I'll obviously give 100%. So you just touched on there, your versatility, is that um, one of the big key attributes that you've got? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think as any experienced player knows, you've just got to carry on learning the game. And for me, that's what I've done. Um, just learn new positions when given the opportunity. And um, yeah, if uh, versatility is probably a massive part of my game. And Pan and Bescott Stadium, Shorty Stadium, you'd have played that as, a, as an opposition player. You're looking forward to now playing at the Pan and Bescott Stadium. You know, we've had some really good crowds there this season. 5,600, so are you looking forward to, to playing there as, as a Walsall player? Yeah, no, it'd be, um, it'd be a fantastic um, time there. Um, obviously played there last season in the 3-3 and the atmosphere was, was unbelievable. It was a great game to play in and um, now I can do that as a home player. Um, it'd be great for the, to be able to support behind me and not against me, so um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks very much and all the best.